What's going on, everybody? This is Brian Mazik, a.k.a. Unique Mazik. I'm the hardest working man in sports and gaming. I want to talk to you today about Madden 22. It is June, people. And if you are familiar with the way the whole Madden release schedule works, it's about that time when we learn about whatever it is that Madden's going to deliver that we hope is going to be new this year and specifically this year we have a very keen eye on what's going to happen with franchise mode and i i wrote about this in forbes and i talked about this i've talked about this a couple times but i consider june to be the moment of truth for madden 22 as far as it is as far as its uh franchise mode is concerned we've seen some incremental improvements from Madden 21 with just you know some patches and some updates and I think that was all we could realistically expect in Madden 21 since their commitment to franchise mode happened pretty much after the game or after you know all of their features had been revealed um so yeah we can say that they should have had a commitment to it before then but as it was that was about the most that we could expect but I think it's very realistic and practical to have some relatively high expectations for franchise mode on madden 22 because they've had an entire year to work on this so there's a couple things uh, more than a couple there's actually four areas that i am specifically looking for ea to deliver in when it comes to franchise mode one of those things is create a team and i'm actually going to group two things together but create a team and expansion is something that i'm really looking forward to them hopefully bringing into the game they don't have uh any expansion options at all nba 2k has it in their my nba uh mode and nba 2k has the best franchise mode of any sports video game out there right now it has its problems it doesn't work in some areas uh but overall from a feature standpoint they deliver especially when it comes to customization which brings me to the create a team option being able to actually create a team from scratch which is something you used to be able to do in madden is a feature that we need to see come back the second thing is continuing to improve the trade logic that is something that they worked on with madden 21 it's gotten a little bit better but it's still not where it needs to be we still see draft picks not being properly valued we still see teams tr making some relatively egregious trades those things obviously need to be cleaned up. That's more under the hood sort of franchise mode features. The third thing is presentation. Now this goes across the entire franchise mode concept in the, over the entire landscape. So I'm talking about in-game presentation, whether it is halftime show, which is something that has been in need of an upgrade, especially for franchise mode. Like people don't care about halftime show and mud and play now, you know, or exhibition games online and stuff like that. It really only matters in franchise mode because that's where the stories are supposed to be told. So that is something that we need to see. When he's talk about injuries, injury presentation should be improved. We should not be finding out the full extent of an injury. At least you should give us an option of whether to turn it on or off. But we should not be finding out the full extent of an injury. You know, it five seconds after the person's injured that shouldn't happen a weekly wrap-up show at the end of the week is something that would also be nice franchise mode is all about immersion guys and if you don't bring the immersion then you kind of drop in the ball in that area the last thing that i'm going to talk about though is something that we it's kind of like a home run for them because we've already seen that they're going to kind of incorporate this in some way shape or form and i'm talking about a coaching carousel so there were some leaked images and ea purposely leaked them showing that they were going to bring back coordinator play or having you know offensive and defensive coordinators well that's just one part of it right because yes you can have offensive and defensive coordinators that are in the nfl now but what does that whole process look like when coaches get fired and stuff well, i'm going to tell you i have simulated like the entire career you guys may have seen the video i have simulated the entire career of every rookie quarterback and i use madden 21 to do it i use the file that you see on the screen right now which is made by my man unfatable 21 he is a part of the operation sports uh, uh community forms community well i've simulated countless seasons and most of these 
coaches never retire. I'm talking about I did 20 some odd seasons and like Andy Reid's still a head coach. Andy Reid is already like in his 60s. So 20 something years, you tell me he's going to coach till he's 84 years old. Like it doesn't happen. Uh, we don't see offensive coordinators, obviously, because they're not in the game. But we like to see offensive coordinators and, and defensive coordinators get opportunities to become head coaches. What used to happen back in the day is veteran players would retire. They would get jobs as coordinators and then sometimes become head coaches. I believe I, I think I had an old Madden might have been like Madden 07 or Madden 08. I had like Ray Lewis retire, become a defensive coordinator, ultimately become a coach and, you know, kept simulating or kept doing seasons. And at some point, Ray Lewis like won the Super Bowl as a head coach of some other NFL team. Like it was that's the type of thing that I think you need to have in franchise mode that hasn't been there before. I'm hoping we get a chance to see that in this year's game. So I'm going to follow up with another video. Um, hopefully I can kind of beat whatever news might be coming for Madden, uh, which I'm assuming before the end of June, we should we should know something. I mean, unless they're just going to completely break the trends that they've set over the past. I don't know how many years where June is where the first information comes out. I'm expecting we at least going to know the cover athlete sometime soon and then maybe features as well. So but I got another thing I'm going to talk about specifically related to next gen. I'm going to keep that for another video. I want you guys to leave a like on this video. Don't forget to subscribe. It means a lot to our channel as we continue to grow and continue to try to bring you guys valuable and hopefully entertaining and informative details about the sports game and world. So I appreciate you watching as always. God bless and peace.